Welcome back, everybody. It's time for a date with Kafka. I'm going on a date. You're not going on a date. It's just me. We're exclusive, so just like back off a little bit, okay? Also, if you're watching this video, make sure you stop by the Twitch stream down below. You can participate in watching live. Have a good time. That's the plaza. Whoa. But uh, I can't see anyone waiting for us. Should we look around? <laughs> just all the dead people. This is extremely pretty. You know what? This looks like the, the sanctuary of Saristana upside down. This is literally it upside down. What's going on with him? What is that? He's got the ick. Everybody stay back. Bailu. <laughs> First time seeing her. Give him this medicine. Oh, right. He can lie down. He's so small. I mean, make them lie down. I love like the dragon tail. You look like a lizard for real. Too easy for me. I'm so over leveled for this area. Bang! That was me spitting on them because they're bad. She's so small. Teach you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? She didn't do anything. I did that. Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. I'm going to start calling physical assault assertive sedation. <laughs> Next time I punch somebody, I'm going to assertively sedate them. Assertive sedation techniques? Uh, does she mean beating people up? You mean domestic abuse? However, these cloud knights were already sick. And now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. Ugh. She's kind of like Chi-Chi. Aren't you a little young to be realigning bones? I'm going to need to see some qualifications. Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I swear to God, if she's like 95. I don't have a dad. Oh. What about your mom? I don't have a mom either. Mm. Mm -hmm. Who told you that? I get it. You think because I'm small, I must be a runaway child. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self-reincarnating. No mama dad required. So wait, she's a reincarnated? She respawned. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old shell. You're she's looking evolved. at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Bellabog kids are making snowmen. <laughs> while children here are writing prescriptions. We are not the same. Things haven't been very peaceful in the lawful recently. Make sure you don't... <laughs> go Fight. running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand, so I'm afraid we have to. Hmm. Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. <laughs> as for medicine... I'll give you a 20% discount. I'm getting a mixture of Baiju and Dory vibes. She's still going to charge us for medical care. What is this, America? Do you have any idea how many people in the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me? You should count this as a blessing. She's like the best doctor in all the ship. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to... <sighs> Enough of that. I have patience to see. So this is the Vidyadara. Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. They're known as the dragon race. Not hard to see why. Well, yeah, you got a dragon tail. Well, duh. Stroll around the exalting sanctum plaza and look for the messenger sent by Fushan. That was terrifying. Thank goodness the Vidyadara dragon lady was saved. <laughs> I'm in their personal space right now. Excuse me, fella. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the dragon lady and those exalting sanctum residents got away unscathed. <laughs> Our help? You oh, yeah, we did a little fight. You dealt with those Mara-struck knights in the nick of time. I saw it all. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General Commission guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. In the flesh. Must be the guests. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. I thought we were going to be doing Kafka in investigation today. So far, we haven't been doing any of that. Something just happened now. I just arrived in Xianzhao, Lafu. Are you guys all right? He got service again. What happened? What are you doing? I'll pretend that you replied, I'm okay. <laughs> we didn't even answer his question. Unhung, you okay, buddy? Cloudford. Is this a challenge? If the shipping passages in Cloudford changed even a little, the entire oh, we're back on him now. drastically altered. Do you two know the way? I do not. 
I have so many questions about him. Now, I did watch on my stream a little bit before this playthrough today. Um, some stuff about Otto from Hunkai Impact 3rd. Very interested to learn more. Got the, he got the call from Ready for Himiko. Oh, God. <laughs> I came this way. I know it like the back of my hand. Just follow me. Um, so, silent but deadly. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready and we can set off. All right, I know what you are. I know what you are, Otto. I think, not really. I, I barely know, but let's go. Silent but deadly. Stop! Are you sure that nickname isn't annoying you? It literally is. Remain silent. <laughs> I mean, you're kind of living up to the first bit right now. We can move out anytime. Let's go. No questions. Let's just go. There's one star skip left. What? Where? Where does it go? <laughs> He's Judging baffled. Judging by where it stopped, it must be heading for Central Star Skip Haven. It's probably not where he wants nice. to go, right? We'll be safe there. <laughs> Come on, let's climb aboard. Leave Cloudford for now. Let's go. I got 30 just for doing that. That was actually pretty cool. It's pretty yeah. easy to do. Fancy a coffee? Not right now. Later, off stream. Look for suspicious persons at Exalting Sanctum. Mumbling weirdo. I think I found our guy. <laughs> Excuse me. Guest from another world. Please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? No. Okay, that's it. Bye. No. Do you not believe no. in the pursuit of eternal life? No, not Perhaps really. Perhaps it's because you've already given up on that aspiration. Kinda, yeah, so we can stop here. Who would turn down the opportunity to live forever? Me, I don't want to do that. Joe doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. My name is Green Hibiscus. <laughs> I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. Listen, you ever run into an MF named Green Hibiscus, you turn the other way. What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Do not kidnap me right now. Let's go. Let's make haste. <laughs> oh my God. I disagreed to that. Here we are. <laughs> this is the place. So why do you have a guard here? Uh, how do I get immortality? Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If it were so easy, we'd be a far larger group, and there'd be no need for secrecy. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. As followers, we refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our cause. Cults are wild, bro. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a disciple. But to become a disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Ankai was like, how do we drag the storyline out? Make him do some cult minigames. Everybody in the board meeting room just starts clapping. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. We had to kill them. If we are not careful. The consequences could be unthinkable. I just, what do I what do? What you seek, you will surely find. Merciful Medicus <laughs> is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times by hand. This will allow your brothers and sisters to trust your faith <laughs> and you to become a disciple. You know, I feel like if you are a normal person, just writing something 500 times over and over would make you believe it no matter what. It could be literally anything. This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. Of course, this is but the first. First! Try. Once you have become a disciple, you will undergo numerous others. You're telling me these three back here passed this? Can I get a pin? Don't worry. A traditional Sienjo brush and ink stone <laughs> has been prepared for you. That sounds Some way harder. And an ergonomic design. I myself transcribed 50,000 copies with such instruments. Bro, this is more than like the Bible. Copy the thousand handed merciful medica salvation zero out of 500 times. Hey man, I'm Where changing my mind. Oh God. The trial isn't over. Oh geez. You can't just leave. 
Right. All right, 48 hour stream. Here we go. You start copying the Thousand Hand and Merciful Medica Salvation. Once upon a time, the Thousand Hand Sanctus Medica. Oh my god, Medica has traveled the world with their 9,999 disciples living under Rahu and teaching their way. Your index finger has a slight cramp and your shoulders show a bit sore, but you've only made the first copy. There's 499 more to go. Hey, stop writing. Get over here. I have 499 more to do, bro. No, I'm not coming to you. I'm writing more. There's no way. There's no way we could sit here for the next four hours and do this. Four copies. This is real. I kind of want to do all Stop 500. Writing. You want to fall under their spell? I'll finish it for you. Don't keep a lookout. I got I got 497 more to go. Scribbles away and finishes the copies. What? All right, finally. How fast was that? I know you. You're General Jing Yuan's honored guest. I think you've got the wrong person. Jim, yeah. <laughs> Ugh, is this really the time for jokes of that quality? You're here undercover, right? <laughs> okay, so quality. Right. I thought it was pretty good quality. I'm a cloud knight from the Exalted Sanctum Garrison. <sighs> Just and yell that out loud, bud. This has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here to spy on him. Okay, but I I think he's kind of got a point. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. Why did you come here in uniform? <laughs> Yeah, why did you just take it off, you dumbass? I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. Oh my god. I wanted god. them to know I was a cloud knight. Always know your enemy. Well, you're you're a genius, man. What's the next plan? Shh. Keep your voice down. You're yelling! These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. Listen carefully. I help you copy the text. You cover for me. And I get word out to the seat of divine foresight. Oh, sure. I don't care at this point. Medica Salvation is written 500 times. That would have been actually the funniest thing in video games if they actually let you do that 500 times. I kind of wish they'd let you go 500. Take your time, still your mind, and transcribe the text. <sighs> Allow the beautiful enlightenment of thousand handed merciful Medicus's salvation to permeate your being. I'm done. You're finished? So soon? Yeah, I know. Let me see. Get that a lot. Uh, huh. Yes, it would appear you are finished. <laughs> Checked all 500. Accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. You ever think that if I were to just write like random stuff on lines 400 to like 450 or like, like maybe like 500, he wouldn't notice? How was he going to read every one of them? Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now, only the second remains. It's gonna be something crazy dark, like killing an innocent citizen. <laughs> sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. Take my It'll life. It'll be over soon enough. The Disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect and never suspect who you accept. So, it's time for you two to battle it out. I kind of like him. Survives, will officially become a disciple. I ain't got time to talk this out and be moral about it. Let's Excellent. fight. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus love enthusiastic new blood. Well then, show us what you're made of. I know this is a joke, but there actually, there's actually people in the world like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. You can't just make us fight like this. We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you leave. I... Mm. Fine. Fine. <laughs> but at least let me prepare. I've never done anything like this He's before. He's got to change his pants. He's Very so scared. Well. But you'll need to ask your opponent, too. I don't mind. Good. I got time. Then prepare yourself. All right, let's fight this guy. I have an idea that will let you join the disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck out of Fake here. Fake the fight. One piece. You and I fight, and I lose to you. I pretend that uh. you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging me out of here. Right. So that way we both. How are we gonna show the blood? Objectives. Oh, um. I've seen your skin. Um, <laughs> please don't, don't kill me. Up and 
actually kill me? I can't make any guarantees. Oh, just, uh, whatever. I got myself <laughs> into this. Let fate decide. Just try and hold back a little. Okay? Let fate decide. So, have you prepared yourselves? Let's go. Let's Did fight. You, Cloud Knight. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm ready. Pro is actually so scared. Well, then, let's begin. Well then, take this. Poor guy is about to get cooked by accident. I'm too fiery. I have 4v1. He did, look how much damage he did, man. I didn't even get enlisted into the ranks. As weak as this guy, he just got one shot. <laughs> Buddy. What magnificent <laughs> skill. He was fierce, but no match for you. I'm glad you prevailed. That cloud knight waltzed straight Dead. up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hard and convincing spectacle. I know. I doubt I ever could have trusted him. Amen, Father. Purple chrysanthemum, blue peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. Purple chrysanthemum. Is this their god names? The reborn names? Disciple names? Oh, you've dealt with this kind of thing before. Yeah, I've touched a lot of bodies that are dead. That's not weird. You doubt me? Not at all. As I said earlier. Disciples never suspect who we accept. Hmm. This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing and exalting sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the devils. Having you dispose of the Cloud Knight will be safer. Yeah, because those people will be recognized. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. You take an active approach to getting things done. I'll be sure to pass that on to my superiors. In any case, my hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. From now on, you will be known by the code name Grey Peony. Grey Peony. That is the lamest name. Well, Grey Peony. I hate that. Let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. That is terrible. Then, Take the Cloud Knight to a safe place. <laughs> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? He just held his breath. <laughs> Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. This whole thing is going to a spiraling side story. How are you still alive? Was he literally holding his breath? Wait, you, you weren't holding back? He stares at your face for a long time before realizing that you're joking. Uh, enough with the jokes already. <laughs> it's a miracle. Either of us is alive. This dude's a meme. I should report back to the seat of divine foresight. Stay safe, friend. Right. The Cloud of the Night vigilantly monitors his surroundings and he gets away. Oh, well, that was random as heck. The Mars boys pull up. This is the reliable disciple I mentioned to you, Grey Peony. Hey, it's me. Grey Peony, this is Mav Moon, the head of our operations in Exalting Sanctum. Dre, I love your work you're doing. How much can you bench? <laughs> no, I'm gonna say he looks kind of weak. Uh, how dare you? Easy, hibiscus. Easy, hibiscus. I like this kid. What is this boy so funny for? You seem like you've got it all figured out. What brings you to the disciples of Sanctus Medicus? I love God. I want to gain immortality. You have been enlightened to the significance of immortality. You have already surpassed those shameful mortals. Here, take this prescription. Through this medicine, you will become like me. You will be able to break the shackles that the devilish archer author has used to chain your soul. You will gain unbridled power and freedom. So this is actually a drug exchange. Some of the ingredients can be purchased at an apothecary, but others will require you to come up with oh, your own solution. Oh, we had to solution. make it? Given your strength, that shouldn't pose a problem. Bro didn't even bring it. We gotta make it. It's a recipe. Do you have any questions? Can I meet the boss? The boss? You mean the master? Yes. You'll meet them. But for now, there's no rush. All in good time. Why did you join the organization? I'm ashamed to admit it. But I once worked alongside yeah. those devils. I trained in spear techniques for almost a century. I nearly became a Cloud Knight instructor, but I was trapped in a weak mortal shell. I was never able to surpass the final barrier 
that separated me from the martial arts geniuses. Thank God you took the last step and got out of that shell. Fortunately, the draft of Draconic Surge, the prescription you hold in your hand, rescued me. Once I took that medicine, I became more powerful than any mortal could ever dream of. Is just is this just like taking like heroin? <laughs> now, everything has changed. Jersene and his pitiful spearmanship are no more. All that remains is a loyal disciple of merciful Medicus. Hey man, brother. Jersene, did you just say? Oh, that's his old name. Wait. You recognize me? No, I just where do you know me from? Your face changed when you heard my name. I just want to know about your lore, man. Mav Moon, sir, we have a problem. I suspect this person may be the agent who's been looking for you. Wait, 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 wait. What kind of trials are you running? You let an agent in our wait, 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 wait. ranks? No, 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 guys, 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 we're going too far here. We're going too far. I was, I liked the name. I was thinking about naming my firstborn child that. I, I, I couldn't have known, sir. I, I witnessed this person slay a cloud knight before my very eyes. Easily, too. Detestable. The devilish archer author allows these pitiful mortals to face death without fear. Did I mess up? Self-sacrifice is their way of fooling us into opening our doors. I don't think I said anything that revealed my identity, generally. Merciful Medicus has sharpened my senses. Nothing gets past me. I was gonna start foaming from the mouth. A like you could never understand. In that case, divine foresight devil, it's time for you to meet your demise. You know how crazy it would be if he like transformed right now? There's no way I'm about to beat up an old man, right? Where did you get these guys from? This is not what I signed up for in the fight. What the heck? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I've been playing so much Genshin the last couple days. I forgot how to play this game. But you know what I should do? Watch this. This is this is Giga Brain. So you see this, guys? I put it right there. <laughs> now no one knows. Ten steps ahead. Mav Moon was the agent that Team Zoo lost contact with. He joined the disciples of Did Sintus Medicus. I, I should go I to the seat them. of divine foresight and tell Ching Zhu. I don't know if this mission was a success or a failure. Uh, oh. I'm glad to see you've returned in one piece. One piece! So, what happened? Did everything go as planned? Yeah, it was no big deal. Your operation was a success. Although your identity was ultimately exposed, was that an you accident? gained a wealth of invaluable intelligence. On top of that, you managed to get out without a scratch. Like, could I have not exposed myself, or is it canon to uh. have them find me out? I never imagined that your scene would choose the path of evil. You did the right thing. I'm afraid this is how the plague's author operates. Using notions of power and life to draw countless people like your scene away from bright futures. Down a path of no return. You've managed Craziness. to shine a light on the darkness of the enemy. With this intelligence, the seed of divine foresight will be able to improve its strategy. And for all your efforts, please <gasps> accept this reward. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? Did I get money? About the prescription that he gave me. The prescription you acquired is beyond my knowledge. Why'd you pause for so long? You seem kind of worried. There are a few reliable alchemists that reside in Exalting Sanctum. I'd like to ask you to consult with them on the particulars of the prescription. Hmm. This will allow uh, the of Divine Foresight to have a clear target for creating an antidote. Given that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus has become aware of our operation, it's about time the Seed of Divine Foresight reeled in its net. If you turn up any details about the prescription, feel free to come back and find me anytime. Nodders. I love you. Okay, sorry that kind of came out. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Uh, Everyone does. You're the hero who rescued the Vidyadara healer lady in Exalting Sanctum. Oh, yeah. I heard from other alchemists you have a prescription you wish me to assess. It's crazy because I Can literally read it to me? just talked to him five seconds ago. Sure. Thank you. All right. Hmm. A strange and dangerous prescription, but I believe I understand the pharmacology. It involves drawing upon the strength of long scions to attain the power of ascension. 
So it's just steroids. Godly steroids. Specifics, however, will require further investigation. This will take some time. I could hardly happen upon Vidiotera bone marrow and test the prescription myself. Could I? I thought it was making a lot of this stuff up. It actually is really worrisome. Leave your contact details with me. When hmm. I've completed my assessment of the pharmacology, I'll get in touch with you. Okay, well, she seems trustworthy. New message. Reading Master Diviner asks me to wait for you. It's about time. I'm busy right now. Sends me a photo of a place directly behind me. Okay. What does that mean? It's just a picture. Are we supposed to meet someone there? Road being so inconspicuous. It's like one of those messages a kidnapper <laughs> sends in a horror movie. We're gonna sacrifice March first. That's enough of that. It's just song. Come on, let's go. Hurry up, Chingcha. We'll be fossils by oh. the time you're finished. I have her. I, I don't heard play there with was her, a but... disaster in the Divination Commission's delve. I'm surprised you're in the mood to play right now, Chingchua. Is she like a, a really usable player right now or not? She's the gamble character. Even if the sky was going to collapse on the Divination Commission, the Master Diviner would be there to hold it up. What she lacks in height, she more than makes up for in stamina. Anyway, I didn't come here just to play. She ordered me to wait here for our guests. Time is precious. I'm simply multitasking. We're the guests. Hey, let me get a game with y'all. photo, all right. Is this a games parlor? Uh, what kind of problem can they possibly be facing? Gambling addictions. <laughs> we all Isn't face that. Isn't this hand a problem? I have the worst luck. True, me AF. Oh, uh, hi there. I can tell just by looking at you that you're the Divination Commission's guest. I love how she said that before looking at us. Did you bring us here just for this? Do you even know how long we've been waiting? I'm angry. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I was going to wait for you by the statue, but... Ah! Triplet! <laughs> but folks from the Realm Keeping Commission descended on she the She looks area. like a child, man. It's too loud over there now. Pass! Pass! So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be better to meet somewhere quieter? Four of a kind! She would not fare well in Vegas. She would be broke. And wouldn't that be more fun, too? Better to show you the real exalting sanctum and introduce you to a true CM Joe pastime, Celestial Jade. Ha -ha! Victory! <laughs> <laughs> she actually won. <sighs> now that my wish has been fulfilled, there's nothing holding us back. Follow me, honored guests. Or up big. We always bet on black. I've actually not ever gambled the one time I in my life outside of these games. For your long wait, honored guests. It wasn't too long. Seeing your enthusiasm for this Celestial Jade game has stoked my curiosity. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. You clearly have excellent taste. Bro, I hate when you're walking uh, places and it cuts it off. Is that a... Is that a burnt tree? It's an ancient tree. An ancient tree. We call it the Ambrosial Arbor. Mm. It was once the Sienjo Lafu's prized treasure. I didn't know the Skyfaring Commission were history buffs. Not bad. Younger generations usually don't know much about it. It's said that the Ambrosial Arbor is an ancient remnant from where the Sienjo roamed the ether. From a distance, it looks like half a tree stump. But according to records of the early nation, in its prime, it wound into the heavens and from it, celestial bodies hung. Weird. Meaning? It means the tree was as tall as the sky and stars hung from its branches. So, how big was it? Bigger than the Express? Bigger than Hertha huge, Space huh? Station? No, that can't be right. You know, I wonder if Luosha knows anything about this. Stars hung from its branches. Then, how did it fit in the Sienjo? Technically, any tree in the spaceship fits the description. It sounds like an unimaginably magnificent tree. Anyway, it's just a legend. I see this view every day on my way to work. I'm kind of bored of it. Let's go. Just a heads up. Please don't go running off once we're inside. This is a new Maybe area. Maybe the Master Diviner's guests, but she hates people who don't abide by rules and regulations. Oh. I didn't mean to start that fight. Look, I thought he was a pot. He looked like a pot because he was bent down. So strange. Oh, let me guess, the gate isn't working? 
This could be another puzzle. I don't understand. It's never been locked before. And no one told me to take a key. Hey, I know the food here sucks, but there's no reason to shut the gate on our guests. Are you really from the Divination She's Commission? She's so small. Is it possible you are fired? No way. She's already demoted me to managing the repository. What else does she want from me? There's no need to panic, okay? This isn't the only entrance into the Divination Commission. I know an emergency exit. I feel like this is breaking and entering at this point. I like the theme song playing while we sneak around. Here it is. <laughs> so you shouldn't be you doing this. You seem familiar. Is this where you come to avoid doing work? They just gamble all day. You're pretty sharp. Divination Commission staff call this the loafing, loafing gate. gate. When there's nothing to do, we often sneak out from here and spend a few hours lazing around outside. Stellaron corrosion. What's going on? Great. This gate won't open either. We've kept the Master Diviner waiting. No doubt she'll blame unreliable Chinja for messing up once again. She's like a foot tall. <laughs> I knew I'd offended that Diviner. That's why she sent this girl to help us. Miss Chingchi, if you don't mind, may I take a look? Huh? He's such a father. Oh, no need. Actually, I was just being polite. I don't see why not. Let me show you. This thing is pretty fun. Is another puzzle? Oh, it is. These are easy peasy puzzles. Wait, where am I supposed to get it again? On to this one? Oh. I see. Oh, you're amazing. On to the five. This is the Matrix of Prescience, a large scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. English, please. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would what you I'm mind saying. explaining what it is, Miss Chingchi? A jade abacus is just a jade abacus. Oh, thank you. I appreciate. Yeah, that helped That's me. That's a good question, Mr. Yang. It might take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. What does it do? The book "Glimpses into the Beyond" describes it as living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Yeah, that made no sense at all. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines oh. to get them to operate according to a what certain intention. Some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry. We put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. Interesting. Take the matrix of prescience here as an example. As so long it's just as the matrix. Information is provided, it can it's answer a simulation. questions on anything, from the evolution of natural phenomena to the oh. metabolism of living things. So this is really how they live for so long. They can predict like everything. They can foresee what causes downfall. They and... say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound that in the Divination Commission. Only the master diviner truly understands them. So they're like computers that can predict things with algorithms and knowledge. Seems like it, but Jade Abacus does sound a lot better. <laughs> it's cooler than computer. Besides, ordinary computers don't have cool backstories. Technology handed down from Noose. From God himself. Huh, even in Madame Herta's space station. I never saw anything related to Noose. We met Nanook to start, right? He is the god of destruction, the Aeon of destruction. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a jade abacus or a computer? It was Nanook. Just like today. Would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? It makes no difference at all. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. It's, oh, it's Jing Guan. Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? We are fluctuating oh, between I the remember. heaven and thunder trigrams. A step forward bridges no distance hence. And for those who don't speak Fushen. <laughs> Can we get a translation, please? <clears throat> it's an utter disaster. Great woe. How's that for a divination commission fortune? So it's pretty bad. The matrix of prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the Commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the Matrix of Prescience, but I have no forces available. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. And having, like, the Stellaron Hunter's organization 
trying to create problems too, to get Blade back and... <laughs> but your Fushen, Pesir, the boundless omniscient... He's so positive. Bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. Mm -hmm. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? He's building her up. As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Look, help has just arrived. That's me. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. <sighs> so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? Wait, we're getting paid for those? Well, since they're here already, I may as well make use of them. Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. Yeah, that's literally what I said. This is like a... We've committed three felonies today. I stole some mail, I have drugs, and then also we broke into headquarters. I don't think we should be doing any of this. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. Yeah. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Don't tell her about the drugs. Xinchua is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. Glad to have us as your errand runners, are you? I thought you were gonna have us escorted out. I was waiting for the Matrix of Prescience to resume operations so that you might gain insight into my divination techniques. It was rude of me to keep you waiting so long. No need for the formalities. We heard what the General said. If you need something from us, just say the word. Very well, then I'll keep this brief. <laughs> the Divination Commission is currently understaffed. You're hired. I need your help to restart the Matrix of Prescience's space terminals. And eliminate the Stellaron spirits along the way. Won't we be breaching Xin Zhao's secrets in the process? Xin Chui will accompany you. She'll be in charge of restarting the terminal. Hmm. As for eliminating the spirits... That's pretty universal. Psst. <clears throat> I hath divined our future. We are destined to be errand runners forever. Oh God, she's gonna be kicked out in a minute. Just say the magic word. Uh, what? <laughs> Which magic word? There's probably a couple in her language. Please. Uh, great, the yeah. universal one. Please. Oh. Uh. Please. That took so much. I like. I felt like 15 years came off of her life for saying uh. that. Good enough. We're really teaching people manners on other planets, huh? Well done, all of you. That's what she looked like. I can sense the Matrix of Prescient symbols re-illuminating. Now, to interrogate Kafka. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Those of you in the core may feel a few... impacts. Genshin? Are you ready? Yeah, let's go! We're gonna interrogate her! Yes! Why don't we have her in handcuffs? This is really necessary. I said I'd cooperate with you. I'm a big fan. Hey. I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals. I do. Especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. It's working on me. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth. And they're far more effective than a conversation. She don't care. She's smiling. Then please, <sighs> Master Diviner, witness my destiny. So unbothered. Do it. Uh oh. Right. But this is sick. Mm. Don't make that noise. Why does she kind of like Loki like it? <laughs> what did she do? That's why you're here? All for that? Well, not what you were expecting. She was just thinking, I got a hug, duck. That's what I it was. I can't believe it. She's here for my hug. But the Matrix of Prescience cannot be wrong. What did you see? I'm gonna say Don Hong. Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you, 
It's you. Uh, she wants me. I know. I know. I knew it. I knew it. I called that. <laughs> Absurd. I'd never have thought it. Well, you're not explaining anything, man. Ask her yourself. Take as long as you wish. I must report this to the general immediately. Please excuse me. You're just gonna leave us with her? Okay. You go ask her. <laughs> what, you too nervous or something? I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Okay. Hey, ma'am. I hate that you're tied up. It's terrible. Hi. Hey. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. You either. <clears throat> I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. No, it's okay. Are you all right? Are you hurt? <laughs> Concerned about me? <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. The Cienjo is always courteous with its captives. Thank God, I was about to press charges. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. <laughs> Worth waiting for, don't you think? <laughs> you seem to have a lot to ask me. Are you innocent? <laughs> Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? Yeah. Sienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron hunters are not enemies of the mm. Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. And two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside oh. want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General, presumably to inform him of this fact. That we have traitors among us. This kind of makes sense because we just went through a whole little side quest of finding like cult activities within the ranks. So internal conflict isn't too much of a surprise. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. Because there's no getting around this lie detector test. I mean, we would have known. She's telling the truth. She doesn't As know more. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? Blady. We're here for you. You're lying. <laughs> That's a good character, man. It's a good character. You know, no way. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fu Shen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, well, not them. to the Sienjo. Don't say the crew, because that's just not, you don't want them. You, you say it was me, we're talking about me. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the Lafu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. I'm sorry, I didn't hear any of that. I'm just, I was looking at your eyes. What did you say? And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. 
I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Cienjo will offer you their help. What are you about to throw me into, bro? What do you think? Don't stop! Surprised? Yeah. The notorious Stellaron hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Cienjo? <laughs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? What is this future you're talking about? Like I said, Whoa. Elio Nanook. withheld key pieces of information from me. Isn't this Nanook? The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. Ah, I see. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, oh. you will eventually have to face Nanook the Destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of Ionic proportions. This is setting up like in-game stuff, like way down the line. I also love the still image. This is like a really good uh, like wallpaper. Proportions that neither you nor I nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But, if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. All of a sudden, I'm not like, I know it might be sound crazy. I kind of like on Kafka's side, I kind of trust her. They know something we don't. You know, even eons can be killed. Where do they go when they die? I'm on your side, Kafka. Hey, Locha. They Locha. didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going, it's interesting. So, neons can die, huh? Weird. Not the same conversation. But I thought they were invincible. Hey, yeah, you know anything about that, Luocha? <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That Eon was slain at the hands of another Eon. I'd love to see an Eon battle fight night, WWE Smackdown style. I don't understand. They're all Eons. Why do they want to fight? Dominance. You, are you really from the Xianzhou? Other Eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. Isn't destroying the Eon Yaosha the Alliance's cherished aim? Really? Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. I can't read either. It's okay. In that case, let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Why is he talking to her like she's stupid? Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? Yeah, why are you carrying this giant coffin, bro? Oh, this one? <laughs> it's a casket. This one? More commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. Bro, you are weird! The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Ah, Cap. I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. She's probably never even heard of a coffin, being how long they all live. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Oh, well. Death is a common occurrence. It's just, we don't put bodies mm. in boxes. Uh, Coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. And that's our way of saying goodbye. Instead of a funeral. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star skiffs and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the returning. Oh, it's so creepy. Imagine just being like a voyager in space and just like seeing a star skiff come by with like a dead body in it. As for the Vidyadara, they're 
more mysterious. They say that when a Vidyadara is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg. What? It looks like a pearl. And when the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. Oh, that's Bailu then, right? My mom calls the Vidyadara long scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Vidyadara dragons. could turn into dragons. I don't know if that's true. Well, he seems to know a lot here. I love how you've been really quiet. What do you know? Silent but deadly speaks. All right, man. My name's my name's Don. Don't make jokes. Your mother is right. Your mother. The Vidyadara are long silence. <laughs> they are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. Okay, so there are a whole descendant of of permanence, which means the eons get down with it. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Mm. I've heard the story of long die. the permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Mm. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. Where do they, like, hang out? <laughs> they just chill into space? Has he knows something! Limit. Even the eons are not truly immortal and will eventually reach the end of their lives. I'm sorry. Do you have a god in your coffin? Uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? <laughs> yes. Right. A friend? No. <laughs> so, uh, the sweetheart? <laughs> oh, miss. Try to find out who's a dead body. In the individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met uh. only once. Oh, man. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. This is the one time I wish I played Honkai in back third, because I know this dude has some tie here. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. That was, that was a, one of the more interesting conversations of the entire game so far, actually. <laughs> you okay? Question mark? Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. <laughs> Kiss what the happened girl. to us? Letting you handle it. True. I've only got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. Enough. Let's go. It's less talking, more fighting. Also, why is he locked here? Why am I auto locked? What is this? And it's story. I can't play as him. I forgot. That's so stupid. Vision. Break. Break. <sighs> Miss. Are you okay? What do you think? Okay, man. Okay, we just saved your life. We could have let you die. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. Kind of like her, too? My motor is broken. I can't move. Are you a cloud knight? Good. She can't move. Take me <laughs> to the Realm Keeping Commission. I, uh... Locha, I don't trust this. Silent but deadly. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. Of course. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her orders. I'm sorry. She seems kind of sassy. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. True. I happen to have some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries. Why do you know things about medicine, huh? Well, it's just... She's a puppet. I think we should just take her to the Realm Keeping Commission. Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. Whoa. That was a switch right there. 
What did he just flip? You might get an aching or numbing <gasps> sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? What is this? Why is this puppet so fine? It won't work. My body is mechanical. What is this? Not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. She's okay. Huh. Sui? Curious. I How? butchered that. Oh, what kind of medical knowledge is this? Man, I really want to know this guy's lore. Abundance. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Very good. We uh no longer She's so need pretty. to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission continues. As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice. Leave as soon as possible. It's dangerous right now. I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive, a Stellaron hunter. <sighs> this villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. They are extremely dangerous. <laughs> Mm, you know who you're looking for. The man in your dreams. If it hadn't been for a strange accident, Lady. my wake span might have been cut short. Strange. Wake span? Accident? Oh. Uh, refuses to elaborate. Gonk walks away. <sighs> Come with me. Oh, we're going with you. Okay. We're about to go see Blade. I've never seen anything like it. Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's like the tree. Dun, 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 dun. You know. <gasps> Even eons can be killed. I really like how they're passing us back and forth between the two sides of play. Is it so unthinkable? There are many stories about fallen eons. Is there one in the Wotus coffin right now? Lon the Permanent, yeah. Cinderella the Beauty, Anna the Order, I've heard of these. Tazeron the Propagation, Akivili the Trail hmm? That one sounds familiar. These names were once known all over the universe. Now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Shipe. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeronth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the abundance. In quotations. So, the Sienjo too are engaged in this process. Of oh, this like overarching war of of God versus God. Why does Jin Zhao want to kill the Abundance? How did this one die? How did Akavili die too? After the disappearance Dude, of Long the Permanent, Tazeronth divided the Eon's path. In the process, Tazeronth became a new Eon, known as the Propagation. Mm. My understanding is that Tazeronth, or Imperator Insectorum to some, didn't last long. When the swarm disaster began to take hold, Tazeronth was attacked and killed by multiple eons. He was grouped up on. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> Why do you put back into some of your sentences? Is they're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. God, I'm just saying she's got a point. Do we not hear this? She's got a point. Hold on. Any minute now. What? <laughs> what? It's begun. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Dude, we're just gonna be so responsible for this with Blade. I bet that we're gonna get her. She's out! Blady. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> no shot. She went. <laughs> she said. Uh, did Kaka escape? 
Uh, how are we gonna explain this to the Master Diviner? What does she fall into? The Abyss? If what she said is true, we won't have to explain anything. Hey, did she brainwash you? Yes, she has a point. I'm on her side now, March. Put your hands up. How do you hold a gun? Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? How did it grow all of a sudden? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. She doesn't I'm seem so too lucky. upset. Maybe he's sort of applied a strong fertilizer. Such extraordinary energy. It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yeah. Yang, That's the fertilizer. Mean the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes, the Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. There's no lie, you can't get past Stay it. Stay calm, Diviner Fu. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. So short. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lo Fu. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lo Fu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, that shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. This is a whole third party unrelated to the Celeron Hunters and then the Shen Zhao? Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed himself. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter, and only another Eon's Emanator would Rainbow be capable Arbor. of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship, and yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to La Fu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. Among us! The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. That he but wasn't why it. Is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? Because we're the ones that can get rid of it. That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Why drag in the Shen Zhao's people, though? Why get Luocha involved? Because I know he's involved with this in some way. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths and to hot. get the Shen Zhao and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? Look at us. Who would have thought? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traders have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. So we gotta go there. The At disciples the of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Look at his smile. He's not worried. She's Am worried. I coming up with a plan again? <laughs> of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. This boss fight's gonna go crazy too, mm. isn't it? As ever, the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. I can't wait to see how this is gonna end. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location True. for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? He's like 20 steps ahead in this chess game. General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Damn, say it how it is. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traders have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. This is gonna be sick. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Say, it is what it is. 
Please, that's what I would do. I still have forces to deploy. That's literally it's us. We were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? I love how he's not even here right now. It's just a hologram of him. Oh, wait, that looked like he actually loaded in right there. You see that? <laughs> there was like one frame where his model hologramming turned off. Please, we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people on the law foo? She really doesn't like using us. You, why are you staring at me? Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing outworlders would be... Well, we're already beyond that. Let's be a real. Violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady. Fu, it's not a normal circumstance. The Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such, I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> Multiple. <laughs> what a rare pleasure, Lady Fu. I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Delve. So she's in charge. Under my control? You've been eager to this discover what she for wants. yourself what it is to be a general. Have you not? This is what she said when we got here originally. You've never given me the opportunity and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. Play cool. As you wish. As for our astral friends, I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. It'd be funny if we could just say no. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. Orders received, General. Errands received, General. Payment or we go on strike. Understood. Understood. Worry not. I know how to repay a favor. Oh, yeah? Is that, for, is that true? Xianzhou has met with a dramatic chain of events, and each of you has chosen to stand by us. Your fearlessness moves me. He wants me so bad. Nevertheless, the enemy is upon us, and time is of the essence. Let us not allow monetary affairs to cast a shadow over more pressing matters. This is what I'm going to say when I'm trying to pay my rent. Let's not allow monetary affairs to cast a shadow over more pressing matters, okay? Once catastrophe has been averted, we shall discuss this in greater detail. Miss Ting Yu, <laughs> I, don't I would like money. you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. I can do other things. Oh, of course, General. I am duty bound. Okay, so she's in power a little bit more. We got some orders from a seven foot nine man. <laughs> Smells good too. Huh? Look at all the people gathered here. <sighs> Not a good day for commuting on the La Fu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Stars gifts to safety? Yeah, most people have evacuated. Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. <sighs> At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. Amen, brother. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. Amen, brother. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. <laughs> you sound old AF, man. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. He sounds like he's 95. Maybe they're here to welcome us. That's it. First you arrive out of the blue, what? then the general recruits you to the cause. They're it's not, like the no. the stories where Imperial heroes bring salvation to the world. I was joking. Still, it doesn't look like they're rolling out the red carpet. They're not even looking at us. We might be getting ahead of ourselves. I was joking. <laughs> Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. No, I don't. What? 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 It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. And now we gotta start talking with the locals, chatting them up. Master Gong Shu. He's dead. He's gone, man. Give me your key. Oh, are you guys cloud knights? No, this is a robbery. Are you here to save us? I'm going to kill you. Your clothes. <sighs> I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. Why do you say it like that? You just need to tell us what the trouble is. 
<laughs> General Jin Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. What's that laugh? You can trust us. You mean the general invited you? Is that a joke? The so Lafu has the cloud knights. Uh, why would he send outsiders? I love how March just said it as if for one he would believe it, or number two, with the most disingenuous fake laugh ever. He's definitely not gonna believe There's that. There's been a serious incident in the artisanship commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. Hey, you man. misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? Listen to dad. The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. The incident happened. He dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. What if he's dead? Why did he run back in? I just heard him shout, it's gone. We lost the furnace. By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway, you said you're here to help us, right? 100% the general sent us. Pinky promise. You don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. In that case... Yes, this is it! Take this Jade Seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If anything happens to him... He loves this guy. Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... It is it our top priority? None of us would be able to graduate this year. Is that? Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, oh. After all that, we thought he seriously cared about the teacher, and he's just like, I can't Botanical disaster. graduate. It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. Got the a Stellaron feeling the wolf is going to pop out or something. Of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. Kind of looks cool, though. It's a nice centerpiece. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. So we got to make it all the way over there. Oh, we got to help this person. This is uh, the teacher? Do you need help? Oh, wait, I'm going to help him. I'm being attacked. Yes, you do. Upon commission grounds your feet to tread. Leave from whence you came or soon be dead. Dead. Bro's rapping right now. Stay away. If you come any further, I'll not spare you. Dude's built like a two by four. What is he gonna do? What is he about to do? Uh, uh, hold on. Support. Let us explain. Why Wait, not? is he attacking us? What excuses do you have? Surprise me. Just passing by. Stumbled in. <laughs> door wide open. Hmm. Within oh, commission grounds to table stone. An evil spun by hands unseen, unknown. No longer. Who are they finding for these jobs? Teach you a lesson. These robots will. Does it explode? It does. That's over. Nice. Golden cloud toad. Illumination dragon feet. <laughs> Some cheesy voice acting. All right. Wake up. I raised you like my own flesh and blood. <laughs> you raised these guys. <laughs> Did you really have to destroy my little friends? I want compensation. He tried to kill me. You didn't want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you and you started a fight for I no reason. I killed his kids. Are you Master Gongshu by chance? Uh, how do you know my name, We could take advantage of this. We could take advantage of this. I heard it from the stars. Does the reputation of Gongshu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, proceed one? Uh, this guy is pretty deluded for a master. Get a load We're of this guy. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gongshu. He always talks to people as if they're old and like elderly, like very like senile. Uh, really? It's the okay. Here's your medicine. Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The Artisanship Commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession. The furnace. The creation furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots. It was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. 
Bro, you just threw goldfish at me. You thought that was gonna do something. Then, You're very delusional. I couldn't just run away. Knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. We're on short time, man. Uh, some of the answer. What's what's happening here? What are we fighting? <laughs> I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the artisanship commission from this crisis. Means I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment aid my plight. <laughs> come, come on, <laughs> through here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look, the ambrosial arbor's roots. No, oh, they've uncoiled the artisanship no. commission's most precious invention, no. the creation furnace. Some of the Mario die sound effect. Help me, dear young friends. Let's hack them away together. We can't let the roots punch through the furnace. What is Bro gonna do? Uh oh, cutscene. Careful. It's changing. It's by the bus. <laughs> What's gonna come out? It's a deer! Dog horse. Wait, what did you say good luck duck for? Is this a boss fight? Ah, oh, it's a boss fight. What kind of monster is this? Miraculous! <laughs> it creates life at will! Such incredible power. They seem like swooned by it. Abundant Ebon Deer. What's so abundant Louis, about it? Still have the upper hand? Bro, I'm the one fighting. Are no. you asking that question for real? Are you serious? Watch this. That's shield number one, I think. Don't heal. Don't heal. You won't get away. What? Oh, it's cannon. <laughs> Oh. damage we do it just heals itself this is how the enemies always feel versus me though it's kind of like it's my medicine we'll have to retreat for <laughs> now follow me i kind of want to keep going man i think i can give this thing a run for its money it doesn't uh, follow us no wonder the sienjo is so scared of the abominations of abundance it is abundance They're that's true unstoppable. miss ting yoon are the longwave species on the Sienjo all like this? I, we're, we fought like a thousand of them already in Marashok. I'm afraid this ebon deer was likely birthed by the ambrosial arbor as its guardian. So it can't die. It shares a close connection with the arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Sienjo don't have abilities like this. Like hypothetically, I guess you, if you were to like get to Trailblaze level 60 something and max out all your characters and then do this fight, would you like do more damage than the fight would allow for? Huh. As long as it's there, we can't get any closer. It's not that bad. I wonder. The Evan Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Get rid of the tree. Glass it to smithereens. Are you listening to Mr. Yang? Literally no. The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. Okay, we just blast a tree up. I would like to go back and fight it again. I think I can just take it, Loki. I'm pretty sure I, don't think I can. I we're in a position to take down this deer until we've dealt with its regenerative abilities. Sick of him being my dad. Where to go? How to do it? What to eat? Where to? What to wear? What to say? What to think? I'm sick of it. I'm here now, deer. Look, the roots coiled around the creation furnace. They've withered. With a... He can't heal himself anymore. Excellent. Nothing can stop you now. Let's go. Abundant Ebon Deer, more like dead deer. <laughs> Let me put the shield on before you lock me up, please. Lenda. Thank you. All right, let's attack full force. Impair. Ouch. Okay, that's pretty good. Here, the thunder. Alt. Perhaps you humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. There we go. And I'm no exception. This deer kind of sucks. What are you so scared about? There we go. First shield down. You get away. Give me my shield, please. My turn now. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice. It's easy because you got Jeppy. Jeppy might go. I remember how mad I was when I got Japar because I wanted not him. Is that all? These little leaves suck. I'm sick of these leaves. Show no mercy. 
Yes. Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm Bang. no exception. That did no damage. Lenny is the go. Without Lenny, I don't know how I would get through. Nobody can use their ults now. This deer has tricks. Brother. Okay. I have Enemy something for you. Enemy status activated. Time for good old counter attack. Boom. Only one more more to go. Phase two. You want, huh? Peaches. Enemy target. Peaches. I am kinda hungry. What? March. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm just saying. It'll be a shame if they get smashed to pieces. She's trying to eat the peach, the forbidden peach. Show no mercy. All right, no way. Why do you have so many branches? Why are there two peaches there now? Oh. oh. What? Oh, what the fuck? You won't get away. This what just happened? happened? I was vibing! I thought everything was fine! Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna do- I don't know. Oh my god! This is not as I first saw. Jeppy versus the world. Dear god. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! Japan's actually so crazy for being able to live through that. Unironically, I might win this. I Denise. think I might win this Never still. I know he's about to blow, but I'm fine. <laughs> Dumbass deer, stupid deer. Think you can beat me? I got Japar's Real shield. He hasn't ice. even died. He's got a revive. Yeah, bring out your little plants. Do your little gardening. Oh, uh, okay, I'm a little worried now, but... <laughs> Chill again, sh- oh, I'm locked, I'm locked! <laughs> Seven, nine, one! In the name of Lend, a will forged in ice never falters! <laughs> this ends here. <laughs> oh my god, eight. He's gonna kill himself. Is what do I do? All? It's just in a loop now. I'm in a loop. Eight? This is a loop, I'm pretty sure. I can Never do more falters. damage than the heals. And it heals every time, right? Hope you're prepared. Maybe it won't heal one of these times. Yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. There's a burn effect I just put on it too. Yeah, the stun meter is what we're gonna have to go for. You're right, we're fine. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Oh. I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh my God. Jafar's solo run. Oh my God, that's the best. Oh, that's the actual best. <laughs> Solo Jeppy. That is why Jeppy is the best character to play in this game. I can't believe I didn't want him right away as a character. General Jingyuan said the Ambrosial Ooh. Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. That's crazy. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability My heart to heal such high. grave wounds in an instant. I think I finally understand why the Sienjo decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. Because you never get rid of it. It's always your biggest threat. I'm so glad I didn't have to do that again. I was really worried. If immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe, entire ecosystems mm. would collapse. No wonder the people of the Sienjo wander the universe, never settling on a planet. So they're on the move, that makes sense. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years ago. Perhaps some of them did reject the years, plague man. author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? It's a really good offer. <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried, 
while the fools remain immortal. The he Sienjo said something regret useful. being led astray by the abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission, to the Ambrosial Arbor. After witnessing what happened here, I know there will only be more danger ahead. That was such a sick boss fight, Go, though. Go, friends, and stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey. I will literally never think about you again after this moment, but bye. I'm glad you didn't die. This is the Lafu's Ambrosial Arbor. It's my first time seeing it. Aren't you a Cloud Knight? Don Hong. Cloud Knights don't visit the Ambrosial Arbor without a reason. Plus, I'm new here. The Lafu's plague mark is a tree, while the Yao Ching's is a moon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we got the better one. I heard that the Ambrosial Arbor shriveled and died a long time ago. How could it suddenly spring back to life and start growing again? Celeron. The influence of the Stellaron. <sighs> There's no time for explanations. We must return to the Ten Lords Commission. I'm wounded. I need your assistance in getting there. Once we get to Star Skiff Jetty, you can go your separate ways. Sir, the, the Ambrosial Arbor was bound to bring calamity. The Cloud Knights must be at the Alchemy Commission, next to the Arbor. We're finally gonna all you meet up. You should the same way. Thank you for ensuring my safety on this journey. I will report this good deed to the Ten Lords, and if the opportunity arises, I will return the favor. She's gonna help out in the future. We're glad we could help. She mentioned the Cloud Knights were at the Alchemy Commission. I should find a ship and regroup with my unit. What about you? Am I free to roam? So this is where we go our separate rays. You want to stay here? No, no. The Artisanship Commission isn't safe enough. How about this? I'll escort you and Mr. Locha a little further. You know, we just fought with you for like the last day. You know, see how strong we are? We are most grateful, Miss Sushang. That was a whole side quest. You're back. Anything you wanted to share? Yeah, I've been missing you. Ah, uh, the prescription from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, wow. too. Yeah. Even for those alchemists. That was fast. Yeah, I helped them a bit. Don't so. shoo. Wait, why would the Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist be away from her post? I've heard that the chief alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission delve. She has a vast knowledge and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze the pharmacology so quickly. Let me see her report. Serious as she completes reading Don Shu's report. She looks very worried. No cure? <sighs> Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? This is infuriating. Still, <laughs> this is a clue we can follow. Thank you. Please accept these gifts for your efforts. Money? Thank Please, you. Please, take them. No, I, I will. You've done so much for the Lafu. No, I'm not putting for up a fight. Sienjo. This is the least I could do. I actually wish you would give me more. You gave me a text message. Is that what you gave me? Your phone number? Oh, this is the pharmacist again. Uh, some issues in which I need your expertise on. Okay, I'm coming now. Okay, she seems very worried. Let's go quickly. Thank you for coming on such short notice. <sighs> no problem. What's up? My stay in Exalting Sanctum was supposed to be focused on treating people and delivering medicine. But the seat of divine foresight tasked me with analyzing the prescription. I've been severely delayed. I've already concocted some of the medicine in question. How do you know where I'm standing? There can't be any further delays. Could you assist me in ensuring it arrives on time? Bro, well, I am just the mail boy for all of these people. My colleagues were supposed to handle the deliveries. They're dead now, though. I get it. But now healers are needed everywhere. Okay, I get it. I can't count on them to do it. I thought long and hard, but. I realized I had no choice but to ask you. Perhaps you could see it as repaying a favor? I'm the last option. Fair the enough. The patient in question is a little girl. If she's gotten into any trouble, be sure to let me know when you get back. This is the medicine. Her house is near the Court of Tranquility. Okay, so now we're delivering medicine for the pharmacist. This is me repaying the favor, but I was doing a favor for somebody else. This is me repaying a favor on a favor that I was doing for a favor? Is this the one Don Shu sent me to find? Does she come here to treat other sightless people? Uh, guys, are you about to push her in? <laughs> Aw, little Miss Lady can't see ahead. Can't see right, can't what see left. Heads to the east, 
ends up west. <laughs> All right, we gotta kill this kid. We gotta put him in the water. That is effed up, man. She's blind. She's stuck. <laughs> she can't get down. That's crazy. Hey, what you looking at, Outworlder? <laughs> Mind your own business. All right, bro. I bring out the path of preservation right now. I stick my giant fire sword through all of your stars on your necks. Who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of this. I beat people up all the time. They don't know we've dealt with kids like Hook before. Yeah, get lost. Stop meddling in our business. I'm actually about to beat these children up with no remorse. I, I wish... Honkai would just create a battle sequence there. That would have been so good. He starts crying. Okay. Uh, stop yelling and help me up already. Like if the little break thing came up there and you could just hit the kids, th this would be game of the year. Uh, they use some kind of hidden power. We're I throwing hands. It. You're a cheater. That's right. If you hadn't cheated, I would have knocked your lights out. I bet. Are you sure about that, boss? <laughs> they didn't even flinch. Ugh, shut up. Boss, let's get out of here. We shouldn't fight anyone that doesn't respect martial arts. That's true. I'm just the one in the wrong. <laughs> I'll let you off the hook this time. Next time we fight fair and square. One day, this kid will grow up and like three years from now, we'll forget this quest, but he will be one of the final bosses of the game. <sighs> Thank you for helping me, mister. She seems so like non-problematic. She wants me to deliver this to you. Are you okay? I'm okay. It's my fault. Bro. I shouldn't have wandered off on my own. Then I wouldn't have run into those guys. And they always laugh at me for being blind. And they like to trip me up and steal my things. Thank goodness you were here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me off so easily. Did I want to kill those kids? Oh, Don Shu asked you to come? Things are bad on Olafu recently. She's so sweet. Don't you must be very busy. Don't. Thank you, mister. Remember to thank her for me. How was so she? So messed up. Did you deliver the medicine? She's being bullied, man. You should go wa- Oh, you can't watch her! No! That was an accident. <laughs> she reminds me of myself oh, man. when I was a child. <laughs> I also had to find my way in the dark. Face obstacles, I couldn't predict as well as deal with unconscious prejudices people had against that was me. all literal if i was ever injured by bullies or after a fall i'd run crying to the healers at the alchemy commission and ask them to heal me i suppose that's why i followed in their footsteps to pay a little kindness forward Dude, luring in Hawkeye Star Rail greater than any luring Genjin by a thousand times. Thank you for looking after the child. That little side story here was so Could sad. I... What other favor do you need, though? Yes. To look after her? I worry about her wandering around on her own. And I want to know what's been on her mind lately. How does she get around? Okay. Passed away in the denizens of Abundance Wars. The relatives who took her in aren't close to her. And whenever I treat her, she often confides in me. She's like her mom. A healer's medicine might remedy one's physical health. But sometimes, the loneliness and hurt inside one's heart needs companionship and care to heal. I could totally take advantage of this moment to riz her up and be the perfect dad for this little girl. We could adopt, we could be a happy family. She told me that whenever she's feeling troubled, she finds a quiet corner in the Artisanship Commission and just sits there, letting the sounds wash over her. That is so sad. Her parents used to be artisans in the Commission, so I think she has some nostalgic connection to the place. Her parents die or something? In she all said? likelihood, that's where she'll be. <sighs> There's danger around every corner these days. Especially for a sightless child. There's no like adoption center. Let's go. Don't trust her. You think this is a bait? It's all right. Everything's okay now, shall you? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, big brother. Thank you, Anshu. You don't need to be scared anymore. He is here. I gotta leave in like a couple days. Don't tell her I'm like gonna stay. But I. When I think about all the trouble I've caused you two, I 
I feel like such a burden. I'm sorry. Is that why you're crying? <sighs> Maybe you should start getting used to this feeling. That is not what you say in response, Don Shu. Because in the next few centuries, visually impaired people like us will continue to require <laughs> help from everyone we meet. Don Shu said, "Get used to it. We're blind. It ain't getting better." So, if a little bit of guilt like this is enough to break your heart then how will you manage such an arduous path? He said, let it fuel you. Let it make you angry. Tanshu, that was the least comforting thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm not trying to console her. This is the reality. Dog, she's like four. Walking alone in the darkness, fearing every incoming invisible obstacle, unable to understand other people's descriptions. Everyone. Everything is like a hot coal in the dark. Invisible, yet still able to burn you. As a long life species, she can expect life to continue like this for nearly a thousand years. She must learn to depend upon herself rather than just foolishly waiting around for the next hero to swoop in and save her. This is crazy. Aren't you gonna watch over her? No! I gotta stop saying that. I gotta stop I'm saying that. I'm trying my best to change her personal circumstances. I didn't mean to say that. In the meantime, she'll have to learn to withstand the darkness. Just as I have. Okay, man, what are you fucking handsome? The Xehanort or some light except the darkness? Hey. What is this? You're right, don't you? <laughs> From now on, this is not healthy. I'll do my best to rely on myself. Good. I hope you remember this forever. <laughs> oh, so real. It would seem we incomplete ones are. I'm stressed often out. Often bullied from a tender age. Now I can tell. I endured in numerous hardships to become chief alchemist. Yet, there are still things. That Leave me feeling helpless. I can tell you just venting in front of a six-year-old, bro. That was not cool. That's the reason I said what I said. You might mistake my words for being hurtful. But the truth is, no amount of words can prepare her for what lies ahead. Is it really? I mean, like, I understand it's bad, man, but like, can't you make precautions for life to not get hurt? Does the Shen Zhao have treatment to help with such impairments? Along life species, these things are permanent. I'm surprised there's not been any sort Whether of like enhancement. Or ugly, to help. Tall or short, wise or foolish. Lament. All of it is encoded into our flesh from the moment we are born. Yeah, but that, that's like everybody, right? You guys just live longer, so. The impairments of short life species can be corrected with ingenia Wait, or what? surgery. But that's an impossibility for Xianzhou natives. She means that literally, like Xianzhou natives can't actually get surgery. No matter the method employed, how our bodies will eventually return to their original states. Dead. I too was once a non-believer. I fooled myself into acquiring artificial eye implants. Soon thereafter, my sightless eyes began to regenerate. And I was left in pain and despair. Oh, because she can't keep it forever, so it's almost worse to know about what everything looks like and then lose it again. That brief window of sight that I regained has turned into a perpetual source of anguish. Forever etched into my mind. Long life species, this incompleteness, is a permanent this is a depressing storyline tenants <laughs> what a joke even the denizens of abundance so-called she's ranting needn't endure such torture perhaps we incomplete ones are merely traitors cursed by the plague's author you had a scary look on your face just now it's nothing 
Forget I said anything. You had a like a not even a being dramatic, like an actual 10 minute dialogue with the child and with me about how terrible everything is. You want me to forget? Thank you for sticking with me through all of this. She seems so calm when we started this, by the way. I think my aspirations and exalting sanctum have been met for now. Oh, I have a gift for you, though I'll need a little time to prepare it. Hopefully it's drugs. I'll contact you once it's ready to collect. Okay. See you soon, friend. Bye. See you soon, too. Okay. I shouldn't say see. Uh, there you are, friend. Hey. I'm over here. You've been running so many errands lately. I'd like for you to take some useful items away with you. Examining the exhibits in the Seat of Divine Foresight inspired me to create this. I referenced some historical texts and concocted a medicine that can extend your lifespan and improve your health. I call it the Broomdew Concentrate Pellet. And I'd like you to have it. I thought you were gonna give me money. Consuming it will make your body light, agile, and promote longevity and well-being. As a it is drugs. it'll make your journey a much less arduous one. It's uh, it's uh it's uh, uh Adderall. Well then, that's that. I've still got some other business to attend Just to. Just say you so want to kiss me. Shall we say goodbye for now? Yes, but on my planet we say goodbye by kissing. On the mouth. Perhaps the next time we meet, I'll be able to see you in the true sense of the word. Keep, keep trying, keep training those, keep doing that. Don't you place the box of the pal on the table, you glance at it. Swallow it down. <gasps> Tastes a bit strange, but no adverse reactions so far. <laughs> Dies. Passes out. Wait a minute. Wait, I was joking. Wait, 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 Feels like I can't breathe. Did we make too many blind jokes? Did we do one too many? Oh no. Uh, seems to be calming oh, down a bit. But still uncomfortable. This doesn't seem right. I'd better talk to Ching Zhu at the Seat of Divine Foresight. I think I was just almost assassinated. Holy crap. What? There goes my head again. Is Don Shu sure this broom dew is safe for consumption? Is that in front of me really? Or am I being drugged? Is this is this an illusion? What's happening? Isn't this the seat of divine foresight? We're being ambushed. Why are there so many Mara struck here? No, I, I can't let them get near me. We're gonna start attacking like normal guards thinking they're Mara struck. I don't know if we're seeing things or this is for real. I, I don't know. care if I'm in drugs or not. I'll still throw hands. Oh, the teaser. I just attacked okay? her. Thank the stars. Oh my god. You're finally awake. I was going schizo. I came into the seat of divine foresight and started brandishing your weapon. <laughs> I just came in here and started throwing hands. I thought you guys were Mara struck. It looked like you'd lost control. As if you'd been stricken with Mara. But why is she doing this to me? I she was like nice. I was sympathizing with her. There has to be something awry. Tell me what happened to you before arriving at the Seat of Divine Foresight. I took a pill. Should I not have done that? From what you're saying, it seems like the gift she gave to you must be related to the Disciple's prescription we examined earlier. But the healer who examined you just now said your body doesn't seem to have been affected. Could Don Shu be playing a trick on you? Or is her medicine somehow not working as planned? Maybe it wasn't on purpose. <sighs> My advice is to come back later for another examination. It's a Disciples of Sanctus Medicus prescription, after all. Who knows what healing effects it may have. Mm. I'll put out a wanted notice for Don Shu immediately. If you find any trace of her, get in touch with me. But we do have to question her now. Take this deeting with you. It might just help you find this friend. She's very mad at the world. I was getting that vibe while we talked to her. She's just mad at anything and everything because she's impaired and I get that. Don Shu isn't here. Where could she be? Mm. I've got it. Don Shu's medicine box has her scent on it. Ding. I'll ask the D-Ting that Ching Zhu lent me to track her. Okay, it follows the scent and leads you to the Audison Ship Commission. That's Don Shu. With a group of disciples? 
I guess that tells me all I need to know. She don't even know I'm here. <clears throat> Excuse me, boys. I don't know if you know this, but um, she's she's using you. She doesn't even love you. Master, stand back. Let me handle this. Stand down. Master? He's a friend. I'm a friend that you drugged? Many of our brethren have fallen by his hands. Yeah, bozo, you would be the next. Yes, I am aware. This really was what? a bait. I said he's my friend. Leave us. <laughs> this is a crazy plot twist. I thought she was unimportant to the story. Yes, master. I didn't expect you to come looking for me. But you weren't going to do it for me. You lied to me. I lied to you about many things. But I reserve my apology only for deceiving you into taking the medicine. As for the other falsehoods, they were merely in aid of communicating as equals. I thought she was a side quest, actually. Did you ingest the broomdew concentrate pellet I gave you? Don't say the word ingest, okay? And it makes you feel like a, sound like an evil villain when you say words like that. I didn't. I admire your vigilance. What a shame. Yeah. So many elixir seekers arrive on Would the Senjo in the hope of obtaining the formula to immortality. But none have succeeded. I lied. Their aspirations are well founded. The Sienjo does indeed harbor the secret to becoming immortal. I admire you. So, I thought I'd give you the chance to obtain it. Maybe she's lying about being blind. The Broomdew Concentrate Pellet will turn you into a long life species. Well, I did eat it. <laughs> you will feel the limitless freedom of the form bestowed upon you by Merciful Medicus. By not taking it, you are foregoing its benefits. Okay, I have a confession. I, I ate it. Such a pity. Though, as your friend, I respect your choice. Friend, please. I urge you to leave the Lafu. Abandon this struggle. The truth isn't what it appears to be. I've got a bad what feeling. What did the minions at the seat of divine foresight tell you about this conflict? What if she's right? That the Rainbow <laughs> Arbiter is the emissary of the righteous? That the Arbiter is chasing the heathen plague's author across the stars? While the disciples of Sanctus Medicus abet their heresy? Do you really think that is the case? You don't understand Merciful Medicus, nor the devilish archer author, but you understand me. Do you see me as such? A heretic? I see you as a lunatic, bro. I do not ask for you to pick a side. I just wish for you to leave the Lafu, to leave this all behind. This isn't your fight, and I do not wish to make an enemy of you. Battle with Don Shu, let's go. I let her go. Isn't it freedom? What the heck? Most she drugged me. Unfortunate. Had you known me, what first, would have happened if I did the other thing? Perhaps we could have been good friends. Master, we should leave now. It's gonna be an easy fight. I'm not gonna say why, but it is. I sincerely wish that this will be our last meeting. Farewell. Nameless. Right. Well, I have a name. You're just bad at remembering. Ma'am, I'm on her side now. <laughs> How did it go? She's kind of right. Did you manage to locate Don Shu? More than that, I joined her. Well, to think we were going to adopt a child with that woman. I can't believe this. So you weren't able to apprehend her. She's strong, man. And she's I like see. Cute. These people have been in hiding for so long. They must have a more nefarious plan. I've got to apprehend them quickly. Once again, thank you for all your help. With your intel, we will put a stop to Don Shu. Jing Yuan tells me the you'll fact be that she's the, the bad guy here. The Alchemy Commission I never saw this coming. Diviner. I won't take up any more oh, efforts. Man, if you, you run into Don Shu again, take this as a token of my appreciation. A hug? Oh no. Interlude. What? It's over? No, what do I do now? This is crazy, man. I'm so sad. I wanted to like get a conclusion here. Wow. Well, there is Shin Shao Lafu, everybody.